Hey everyone, this is Jordan, also known as Spoke and Mirror, and I want to share with you something that I did on the most recent project that I was working on, a short album called Misunderstanding with Total Certainty. And what I did for this album was a round of beta testing before it was finished. I was working on this, it's sort of ambient, sort of droney, and one of the things that I ran into at some point was feeling like I was a little bit lost. I wanted to just get a pulse check from some people that I trusted, that I wasn't wandering in the woods and that I had just gone off in some totally useless direction. We know how these um, insecurities can creep in. So what I did was something that I find is super common in the tech world. People are developing apps, but I don't think it's all that common in the music world. And that's just a round of beta testing. So the way that I did this, and this is what I want to share with all of you, I made a SoundCloud playlist, a private playlist, put the tracks up there, gave basically no context on what the background of the album was, didn't even have titles at this point, and then reached out to about 20 people whose perspective I value. Either they're musicians who I respect or just like people with a worldview that I really value. And I sent them a really simple Google form and I'm going to share the Google form with you. You're welcome to just totally rip it off, copy all the questions if you like, make tweaks, whatever it is that's useful for you, you're welcome to it. I sent them that. There was a link to the SoundCloud playlist right in there to make it dead simple. And I, another thing that I should also say I think really helped is I gave, this wasn't like a mass email that I sent. I was thoughtful about who I was asking and sent them a nice um, email saying I respect their perspective. And the uh, response rate was great. So what I ended up with was really awesome. I ended up with 15 responses to this and it really helped for me to get a sense that I wasn't just wandering off into the woods. <clears throat> uh, super strong beer. Okay, so wasn't wandering off into the woods. Um, there were certain things that some people called out that were great to be able to see that there was some feedback that um, resonated across a few people. Uh, there was some stuff that confirmed things that I was on to, and really a lot of it was that I was feeling insecure, unsure, does this stuff like seem coherent to anyone other than me? And in the end, I was able to get a lot of feedback that said, yes, that it was. So I really encourage you to give this a shot. I don't think that this is often used in the music world, and part I imagine might be that it seems like it's sort of jeopardizing the creative process. Like, I can see where this might come from. I think you, you know, you can ignore all the feedback that you get. It's useful to just get other people's perspectives on things, and crucially, at a point that you can still make changes. I've asked people for feedback before, and it's often been too late where I, like, things are sealed in. I can't really do anything until the next project. So this, I would say, is like 80% of the way along when I sent it out. It's not just like random sketches, but they're somewhat coherent. And this really helped me put the finishing touch on things. So I'm going to just show you, here is the form that I used. I've got a link included in the description of the video. As I say, you're welcome. If you just want to copy all the questions I have here, you're welcome to use that. So the questions just go through an array of things about the person's experience listening and then some opportunity for specific feedback on the tracks. And then you can also see the responses that I got. And this isn't so much to show you the specific responses, but just like imagine being able to get 15 responses from people you respect on a project that you're working on. It was really, really helpful for me to do this. And so I recommend giving this a shot for the next project that you're working on. I think that being able to bring more voices in, more perspectives in at a time that you can still make tweaks and incorporate them is a great idea. And here's a starting point for you. You can just copy this thing and get rolling with it. 
Hope this is useful for you. Good luck on whatever it is that you are working on, and I will see you around.